when you hit him with that punch, I got the feeling you knew he wasn't going to get up. I knew he wasn't going to get up, and I think uh, it would have been a bad mistake on his part if he did, because uh, the way how I wanted to do it was to finish this guy. He made uh, a lot of excuses uh, in the first fight. Uh, he made the excuse saying that he was sick, and there was no way. When a guy fights for a championship, he's in the best condition of his life, which I understand because I've been there before. And uh, I feel as though that uh, it was a poor way for him to, uh, by him saying that he was sick, was only a downgrade to me. Yes. And uh, so this way now, I remember saying to, uh, to the press after the fight, was was he sick this time? <laughs> I think I think he was sick afterwards. Uh, Ma Marvin, at this point, can I risk life and limb and perhaps bring sure. on your next challenger, Tony Simpson, sure. whom you haven't met before? Tony, please. I met the champ officially for I the first time in the Tony, champ. but I don't shake hands with the fight. All right. All right. So you, are you starting the hate campaign at this stage already? I mean, you're not quite no, that uh, you know, bad I'm, I'm boy looking, image. No, I'm looking forward. I'm in a very good mood today. I'm very happy about the, the win last night because it was a, a, a great move uh, in my career. It was my fifth title defense since I won the title from Alan Menta. And, uh, you know, I'm very happy about it. Tony, would you come in here... You were impressed, I know, with his punching power, and actually he respects your dedication, I can tell you that, Marvin. Tell me more about what you thought of that punch and how you're going to face that now. No, no, I just, um, I was watching Marvin very closely last night, and um, watching him with good moves, you were pulling out an oval, and he just broke that, broke that oval, just fell to pieces after uh, two rounds, and um, I feel that me, I'm a different sort of uh, style altogether, and uh, I'm more compact in oval. And I thought, I think to myself, I can maybe create more of a problem. Yeah, you don't seem to be scared of him at all. You can tell him to his oh, face oh, if you no, want. No, no, it's, well, we're in business. We're in business, and um, it's a business. And I, and, uh, I want to know where I'm going in life. Uh, I've beaten all of Europe. I've, I've, I've sidestepped nobody. And uh, I've taken on all comers. And now uh, I'm asking Marvin if he'd give me the chance and maybe fight for a world title. And it means so much. Well, you were number one for a long time and didn't get your shot, so you can know how he feels, Simpson, can't you, uh, Marvin? Sure, and this is the reason why we're going to give him the biggest opportunity of his life. Uh, he's a very exciting fighter. Uh, he has uh, great potentials of, uh, you know, of being a champion, and uh, I believe this is the reason why that we're going to give Tony uh, a shot. Uh, you know, as for myself, there has been a long time before I can even get a shot. There was nobody like myself that would say the things that I'm saying to Tony right now that I'm willing to give you a shot. Nobody ever said anything like that to me. I had to work for it. I had to get it the hard way, and I'm planning on staying here this way. But uh, I feel uh, very confident that we're going to put on a great show, and uh, just hopefully that the moolah is... Uh, <laughs> right behind the scene. All right, Marvin, would you come to England, England if the purse bids were right? Have you I changed your uh, mind about that? I can't say anything about that. Uh, I leave that up to my managing trainer. But I will say this. Uh, it's not that I have anything against England. The small people that created the problem there, I understand because it could happen here. It can happen anywhere in the world. But uh, the way how I feel is... You know, it's, you have to be a little nervous. Here I was, uh, the moment of my glory, the things that I've been waiting for all my life, and I was deprived of it. And it happened in London. Uh, I love London in a sense because it's got a lot of uh, history behind it. And I would like to take my wife and my family back again and, and to look at London again, but maybe under different circumstances, not fighting. Okay, Tony, would you fight uh, Marvin anywhere, hopefully on a neutral side, like Monte Carlo or San Remo? Yeah, sure. You know, the, the opportunity, uh, I'll go anywhere sort of thing, but um, I don't blame Marvin for his attitude because he's right, 100%. The way he got treated, it was very bad and disgraceful, so uh, I understand everything he's saying there. And I'd feel the same if it happened to me, but um, I'm prepared to go anywhere, sure. All right, fellas, well, I'm afraid this is the last time you're going to be friendly with each other. Can we have one? Put it off,